Welcome to the Pro Sim Racing YouTube channel. I'm Sean Seabrand, and today we're going to be taking an in depth look at the Rickmotec AP Extreme WindSense Professional Airflow Wind Simulator version 2. And yes, that's a mouthful. So from now on, we are probably just going to call it the Rickmotec Wind Simulator. Anyway, sit back, relax. And let's delve into the wild world of wind simulators <laughs> after this. So what exactly is Rikmotex AP Extreme WindSense Professional Airflow Wind Simulator V2? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Essentially, it's another piece of equipment that you can add to your rig to increase your sense of immersion. The WindSense system concentrates the airflow of two high volume yet quiet fans through integrated directional vanes to surround the driver in a convincing flow of air. The speed sensitive fans constantly adjust to the vehicle's speed to aid the driver in immersing themselves in the simulation. The module mounts discreetly under the center monitor on the AP Extreme 2000, 3000, and 3000 UW simulator chassis to remain distraction free. The airflow is directed around the steering wheel and over the driver's arms and then over the neck and face in a way that creates a heightened sensation of moving through the air. The sensation is especially ideal when driving open cockpit cars and is practically indispensable when using VR headsets. It adds to the overall immersion factor and increases my sense of speed while racing down the track. Packaging. So as you can see here, it came extremely well packaged with their fancy schmancy Rikmotec branded packaging tape all around the box. It gives an expectation of a high-end product. The extra airspace in the box was densely packed with paper to limit the movement of the wind simulator and its accessories during shipping. Dimensions. The box itself measures in at 24 inches wide by 6.5 inches deep by 6.5 inches high or 609.6 millimeters wide by 165.1 millimeters deep by 165.1 millimeters high and its shipping weight was 7.059 pounds or 3.202 kilograms. Pricing. Now this Pacific simulator is definitely on the pricier side as far as wind simulators go. It comes in at $494.50 USD at the time of this review. It comes with a pair of 140mm Noctua NF a 14 industrial PPC 3000 RPM PWM fans. More about these fans later in the review. Materials The Rikmatec wind simulator is made of a high density polymer that's very rigid yet fairly lightweight for its size. The color black goes throughout the material. So for instance, if you were to drill a hole, the hole would be black throughout, which gives it a very clean and neat appearance, which also makes it almost unnoticeable. Availability It's made to order and usually ships within 5 to 10 days from the date of purchase. You can have it shipped or you can opt for in-store pickup. Rikmatec offers free shipping on purchases over 249 USD within the USA and competitive rates worldwide as well. 
45 days of premium tech support is also included with every order to help get you up and running in the shortest possible time. Components The Rikmotech Wind Simulator consists of a piece of high-density polymer with the dimensions of 22 inches wide by 0.75 inches thick by 7.5 inches high or 558.8 millimeters wide by 19.05 millimeters thick by 190.5 millimeters high. It features CNC routed directional vanes to direct air towards the driver and also has a great looking aesthetic. It comes with a pair of Noctua NF-A14 Industrial PPC 3000 RPM PWM fans with the dimensions of 5.5 inches wide by 5.5 inches high by 1 inch thick or 140 millimeters wide by 140 millimeters high by 25 millimeters thick. When most of the other systems on the market comes with smaller 120 millimeter fans. The Noctua fans have an operating voltage of 12 volts, a maximum input power of 6.6 .6 watts, a static pressure rating of 6.58 millimeters H2O, an acoustical noise level of 41.3 dBA and a maximum airflow rating of 269.3 cubic meters per hour or 158.5 cubic feet per minute. The industrial PPC models are high-speed fans for industrial applications. As such, they are not as quiet as other Noctua fans which are more suited for low noise computer builds. Although coming in at just 41.3 dBA, they are still pretty quiet. Keep in mind that this is my personal opinion and noise tolerance is totally subjective. In general, larger fans equal less noise while producing more airflow, especially at high RPMs. It also includes two 140mm black fan grills which are installed at the rear of the fans for your safety. At the heart of the Rikmatek wind simulator is the fan controller circuit board which is made by SimProjects. SimProjects proprietary software SimDash is used to run the Rikmatek wind simulator. A 12 volt 5 amp power supply with C13 and C14 connectors and a USB type A to type B cable, more commonly known as a printer cable, are included as part of the accessory package. The teardown. So let's remove these six screws on the rear cover so we can get a better look inside of the Rikmatek wind simulator. Let's see what type of circuit board and fans are being used for this particular setup. Now we remove the four screws from the fan assembly so we can get a better look at the make and model of these fans. Here's a close-up look at the fan grills. They are pretty standard, although they do look quite nice. Now let's put that aside so we can get ready to remove the rear cover. I'm just being a bit careful here as I don't want to tug on the wires or cause any damage. Wow, look at that workmanship. This is a really nice piece. 
I hope that you can see it properly as I shift it around a bit in the light. The fans come with braided cables, which is a nice touch. Now let's take a better look at the make and model of the fans. This is a Noctua NF A14 Industrial PPC 3000 RPM PWM fan. This model has four wires. Now let's disconnect the cables from the circuit board. I'm trying my very best to be careful here. I don't want to cause any damage. I'm actually using my fingernail to open the retention clip. But a small flat head screwdriver would be ideal for this task. There we go. Let's put the cables aside, take out these two screws so we can take a better look at the circuit board. Here we go. Alright, let's try to get this in focus. It looks very high-end and clean with its surface mounted components. Very nice indeed. Even the back looks pretty clean. The soldering is very neat. Take note of the four pins for each fan. They've even used metal threaded inserts for securing the circuit board, which is really good. Very nice. Now, let's put everything back together so we can move along with this review. It goes back together just as easily as it came apart. Just be careful not to pinch the wires while installing or reinstalling the back cover. It really is a nice piece of kit. Pretty impressed. If you're enjoying the video so far, please click the thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. Now let's move on to the software section. Software. The SimDash software looks fairly outdated compared to some of the others out there. The software is very basic and easy to use, which can be considered a good thing especially for those of us who would just like to set it and forget it. After all, not everyone is up to dealing with complicated software with countless settings, like myself. You do not need a license to use the fan controller functionality of the SimDA software. Now let's take a look at the pros, the cons, and my conclusion. Pros. The software is very basic and easy to use, which can be a good thing. You do not need a license 
to use the fan controller functionality of the SimDash software. Very quick, full car tuning is available. Or you can simply enable the software to automatically adjust each car's maximum speed. Just set it and forget it. Large 140mm Noctua NF A14 Industrial PPC 3000 RPM PWM fans. There's no audible coil whine. It adds to the overall immersion factor. It increases my sense of speed as I race down the track. The cooling benefit I get with this system is very welcome, especially here in Trinidad where it's fairly hot most of the time. No separate mounting solution is needed if installing on a Rikmotec AP Extreme 2000, 3000 or 3000 UW simulator chassis. The fan speed increases and decreases very smoothly with no notchiness detected. The fan starts spinning as soon as the car starts moving. There's no delay unless you have specifically set a dead zone. The required USB cable and power supply are included with your purchase. Discrete mounting on the APX chassis it's almost unnoticeable. In my opinion, this will be indispensable if you are using a virtual reality headset. It will help keep your lenses from fogging up while keeping you cool. The overall fit and finish of this product are excellent. Definitely in line with the high standards that I've come to expect from Rikpotec. Cons it's pretty expensive. It comes in at $494.50 USD at the time of this review. The software used, SimDash, looks very outdated. There's no wind curving option. There's no gamma setting. There's no visual representation of changes being made as in some other software. There were no instructions included with the product. There were no nuts, bolts or washers included for installing the product. Conclusion. At the end of the day, do you really need a wind simulator? Of course not. But it really does add another level of immersion to the sim racing experience. There's nothing quite like racing down the back streets of the Norge life, driving a Porsche 911 GT3 R in Automobilista 2 and feeling that wind in your face as the car tops out. If you've been around this channel for any length of time, I'm sure you would have heard me say over and over. Anytime I forget to turn on my transducers, it feels as though my car isn't running. It feels strange to drive or race with no vibration of the engine, uh, no road bumps, no vertical surges or anything like that. Well, for me, a wind simulator comes in a close second. I would like to see a basic instruction manual and installation hardware being included with the package. This would greatly improve the customer experience. After receiving your Rikmotec wind simulator, you are excited. Can't wait to get it installed on your rig. The last thing you want to do is to have to go to the hardware store to purchase nuts, bolts and washers for the installation process or to have to contact Rikmatech to get instructions about which software to use and how to use it. So, would I recommend this Rikmatech AP Extreme 
WinSense Professional Airflow Wind Simulator V2 to you? <laughs> That's a tough one. If you're in the market for a wind simulator setup for your rig, there are more affordable options out there that may suit your rig and your pocket better. But if by chance you happen to own a Rickmotec AP Extreme 2000, 3000, or 3000 UW simulator chassis, then this is an easy sell as it's almost an obvious upgrade to your rig. Don't get me wrong, this Rickmotec wind simulator can easily be added to lots of rigs on the market, especially if it's made from aluminum extrusion, wood, or some other DIY solution. The price may be a hindrance for some people, but remember, you are paying for a high-end piece of sim racing equipment that's made from the finest materials, cut on a CNC router to the highest of tolerances, the tightest of tolerances, sorry, while some of the competition are 3D printed. At the end of the day, the choice is really up to you. Only you would know if it makes sense to pay such a high price for a wind simulator when there are cheaper options available, even DIY options. My goal is not necessarily to persuade you to purchase the Rickmotec wind simulator, but to help you by giving you a wealth of information that will help you make your best choice for your unique situation. If you would like to have a wind simulator set up for your rig, but the $494.50 USD price tag is way out of your budget, just keep an eye on the channel. I'm going to be making a follow-up video where we'll be taking a look at some lower priced wind simulator options out there from various companies, even some DIY solutions that may be more suitable to your budget. Special thanks. Special thanks go out to all of you who use my Rickmotec affiliate links to make purchases on their website. Thanks to you, I was able to save up enough credits to get pretty close to the $494.50 USD purchase price. And special thanks to my good buddy, Farman, for donating the rest to enable me to make the purchase. Your generosity is much appreciated, my friend. This would not have been possible without you guys. And if you've made it this far, I would also like to thank you very much because if you have watched this entire video, it signals to YouTube that the video was worth your time, which also helps the channel. And I really do appreciate your support. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. I really try to keep it simple while giving you tons of pertinent information. And feel free to leave a comment or suggestion in the comment section below. And keep an eye on the channel for more videos just like this one. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to click the little bell icon in order to be notified when we go live or upload new videos. Also, take a look at our website at prosimracingteam.com. Until then, you stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.